Okay everyone, let us now proceed to lesson 7.2 all about rational functions. Okay, so um, in this video, um, we will define rational functions and we will describe the behavior of the graphs of the most uh, common or basic rational functions. Okay, so let's start with the definition. We have here rational functions are quotients of polynomial functions. Okay, so we know what polynomial functions are. And these functions can be expressed as f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p and q are polynomial functions and q of x is equal to 0. Okay, so because if q of x is equal to 0, that would be undefined. Now, the domain of a rational function is the set of all real numbers except the x values that make the denominator 0. Okay, so the set of all real numbers except um, the x values that makes that make q of x equal to 0. Okay, so we will take that into account, especially when finding um, the uh, vertical asymptotes later on. Okay, so let's take a look at how these uh, most basic um, rational functions behave. So we have here f of x is equal to 1 over x. So this is the graph. So let's take a look at how as x approaches 0 from the right, what happens? So f of x approaches infinity right how about on the other side if x approaches 0 from the left um, we can see that f of x approaches negative infinity right and what about here so as x approaches positive infinity f of x approaches 0 and on the left side we have here as x approaches negative infinity we get um, f of x approaches also approaches 0 right okay so uh, that's how 1 over x behaves. So it's very different from um, the functions that we've been graphing before. And how about this? So this is f of x is equal to 1 over x squared. Okay, so let's uh, describe this. So as so as you can see, this is a symmetric with respect to the uh, y-axis. Okay, so as x approaches 0 from the right, so f of x approaches um, positive infinity. Now it's the same thing on the left. So if you approach zero from the left, f of x still approaches positive infinity. So it still goes up. So how about here? X, as x approaches uh, uh, positive infinity, positive infinity, we have here f of x approaches zero, right? And then um, as x approaches negative infinity, um, we have here f of x is equal to uh, I mean, f of x approaches 0. Approaches 0. Okay, so that, that's how um, these rational functions behave. And we will see more of them in the next uh, coming lessons. Okay, so thank you for watching this video. And I hope you learned something. Uh, thank you for watching.